My name is Gary. Um, I'm born in 1968. Um, I'm a graphic designer and currently I'm running my own design firm. My name is Kenneth Chu. I'm 37 years old and I work as a graphic designer. We lay out magazines, uh, design logos, uh, anything that's print based basically. Since seven, I always knew I'm gay. I went to all boys school, and at that point, I sort of knew I'm I'm not like the other boys. The rest of the boys would be talking about girls. I have to pretend that I'm interested in what they are talking about, but um, it never felt right. I sort of went out with this girl and sort of think that I could turn straight. I was in the army, and your friends say, "Hey, you want to go out to meet girls?" At the end of the day, I said, "No, it's not working out because I sort of know that I would be lying to her." I sort of know that I was gay. You just think that maybe it's your face. You think, well, I thought wrong. <laughs> I remember that morning I was telling everybody in the office that I met this guy and I was saying um, how excited I am. I say he asked me for my phone number and stuff like that. And I still remember a colleague telling me that to forget about it, he's too young. Because by then he was only 21, 22. And then I received a pager and that number, and I was a bit confused. Well, I tried calling, it didn't, it didn't work. So I told my colleague, I showed it to my colleague, and then she was the one who told me, oh, someone said I miss you to you. I guess it's you have to mix around with the younger generation people. You know? Yeah, I was too old <laughs> to understand such things. <laughs> I guess when it started, it was a bit tough. I guess it was a bit strange to suddenly bring um, I usually don't do such things in the past, bringing people back to my room. Your mom will ask you, um, who is that? And I'm here to repair the computer. Yeah, yeah, he was here to repair the computer. <laughs> then, uh, oh, um, my computer is down, uh, my friend is helping me. And then, oh, cannot solve the computer problem, so he's staying <laughs> overnight. Um, stuff like that. And we just get more and more creative with, <laughs> with the reasoning. But after, like, you know, I think maybe like, Four years, four five years, uh, I stopped giving reasons really. Uh, that's Cody. He's a golden retriever, though he looks like a Labrador now because he has hair shaved. Now, welcome to the war zone. I'm a hoarder, so over the years it gets, it just piles up. Yeah, I try packing it many, many times. I will pack them and then things will just accumulate again. Well, just look at the shelf. It's like it's going to sprout mushrooms and. <laughs> Uh, we went to take some yeah, oil, painting, oil painting It was a still life class that we took. Still life so class. Well, how come you all stopped? Oh yeah, I'm slower. Yeah. I'm more meticulous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not out to my parents, um, but I'm out to my siblings. But after 15 years, um, it's quite difficult not to know because he's always around. He's always the same person. My mum over the past few years, I uh, had started to invite Kenneth over for reunion dinners and she would actually just ask, oh, uh, ask Kenneth to come along. You know, that's her way of accepting it. I think at first it was a bit awkward for him to sit at a reunion dinner. I think it's just all me feel, mm, feeling as yeah, if like I'm the I'm awkward still now, the yeah. stranger in the house or something like that. But yeah, but, but, yeah, but I, I can see that the rest of the are actually trying yeah. to include me. Because I guess I'm grown up in a society that I still feel it's what it's the stigma for that. I, you feel as if like you're always not legally part of the system yeah, or somewhat. So you feel that as if at most you're still on the outside. It's been 15 years and like I said, I, I think Quite early on in the relationship, I really realized that he's going to be the one that I want to spend the rest of my life with. He's, he, he's in a way, um, I, I know this cliche, but he's really my better half. A lot of things, the way I do things, a lot of things, the way I handle things, I look at macro, and he's more the micro. <laughs> and, and so I fumble a lot, and he's always there to help me and he's always there to make things okay. And I really can't imagine what it would be like without him. I, I probably won't be in Singapore anymore.
we are both law-abiding citizens, and we've been in a loving relationship for 15 years. And I felt that um, we shouldn't be treated as criminals just because of our sexual orientation. After reading the Court of Appeals judgment on Tang Hong, we decided that um, we could do our, our part to represent the gay community as a gay couple for 15 years. And uh, hopefully the, court, the law can be repealed and you know, we can all move on. This couple being an advanced economy, still retaining such an archaic law. With this law, I think it's labeling all gay person as criminals, and I don't think that's just. So I think it's about high time, you know, they repeal this. They said they will not actively enforce the law, um, but the very fact that Tan Ning Hong was actually arrested under 377A um, shows that that they can, they can, you know, we will never know when they will enforce the law and it will be a constant threat to all gay people. And, um, and since the law is not actively enforced, it's not going to be actively enforced, then why keep it? And why not just remove it? You know? Come back. I think both of us are a bit concerned. What's going to happen to... It's a bit daunting, you know? Will we have reporters hanging around our house? Or we were a bit concerned. Um, not just for ourselves, but more for our families with the support from our friends, um, not just gay friends, we have a lot of straight friends who actually send us messages pushing us on and saying that they are, you know, they support it because it's a human right thing and not just a gay thing. So with that support, we, we felt a lot better that we are not out there alone, you know, and, and it's a community thing now. We are very glad that we did. So let's hope that, you know, the law will be built. Thank <laughs> you.